Hi, and this story I'm going to tell you is about a monk who is intent on trying to reach enlightenment through meditation. And as a young man, he journeyed around trying to find that perfect guru because we all know that we need a mentor and a guide to help us and to help tame our mind. And so by and by, he found someone who inspired him and who was a great teacher. And after some te time, that teacher sent the young monk away to meditate in the mountains. And he said, in order to free your mind, you need to be persistent at meditating. So he sent him away for 20 years. And after 20 years of meditating, the teacher went up into the mountains to try to find his young student. And eventually, after some time, he found the cave where the student was living and inquired how the student had been going. And the poor student had had a lot of trouble. Uh, he'd had progressed somewhat. It was difficult to survive out there. He'd taken some vegetables which he'd grown, some seeds, and he'd lived on uh, a few sacks of barley that he took with him. Um, but by and by, he was um, struggling in his meditation pro uh, practice. So the guru said, well, it does take time and you need to learn to just give everything away. And he sent him back for another 20 years. And so again, this monk went back, not seeing anyone meditating by himself for years and years at a time. Until finally, the guru, who was himself very, very ancient by this stage, went back and saw him again. And again, the monk had not made the progress that he thought he should. And said, well, I know it does take time. You are meditating. I would have hoped you would have had some more progress than this. But still, keep at it and gradually your mind will become purified. So another 20 years pass. This is 60 years in total. And this, this great teacher who was now bordering on 100 years himself, with the help of his students, gradually uh, sent for the man to leave the mountains and come back and see him. And the monk, who was now probably 75 himself, came down and said, I've meditated now for virtually my whole life and I still haven't got the enlightenment that I was seeking. And the old man said, oh, yes, I, I see now. I'm, with my wisdom that I've gained, I can see that I, I, I gave you the wrong practice in the end. I, I should have given you a different practice and that would have helped clean your mind so that you would have reached enlightenment. Now, I'm very, very sorry, but to do this again, of course, we, we just don't have time. And so the monk was left at that. And he was bitterly disappointed, all that work. And all that pain that he'd survived, that he'd pushed himself. And beyond that, he wasn't too sure what he would do, so he went back to his village. But back in his village, everyone that he knew had either left or passed away. His own village was a stranger to him. So he wandered around. He was of no use to anyone. He couldn't help anyone. He had not learned anything in his life. So he didn't know what to do. So eventually, he went back to the place where he felt comfortable, which was his cave in the mountains. And he got back there to his cave, way up in the lonely mountains. But of course, there was no point in doing a practice which didn't work for him. So he just made himself the normal breakfast of roots and berries that he'd gathered. And he decided to just sit down in the sun and enjoy the day because there was nothing more that he could do. And with that, he reached enlightenment. I hope you like that little tale of the persistence and the letting go of how to reach enlightenment.